My father always told me that there is an ass for every seat. And in college, I learned that the converse is not necessarily true. What is up guys, I am Howie. This is the Go Ride channel where I publish videos about motorcycles and make terrible jokes as often as I can. Uh, irregular publishing schedule because I am a father, soon to be father of two, and I am also an engineer. So that gives you an idea why I'm so busy and why the jokes are so bad. But today, in all seriousness, we're gonna be dealing with the ugly seat on my 91 KDX. Uh, this is the seat that came off of it, and I managed to find a gripper seat cover from Guts, um, and I will try to link that in the description. I don't know if that's still available anymore. Um, but I'm gonna go through the process of recovering this thing. I have never done it before, full disclosure. So we'll see how this actually turns out. Um, step one is going to be to remove all the staples on the old seat. Uh, step two is going to be to address any issues with the foam. I don't know if I'm going to have any. We'll see. And then step three is going to be to throw the new seat cover on there. Now, the new seat cover I have in the house, it is sitting next to a space heater. I'm going to try to warm it up and make it as pliable and expanded as possible. So that way when I get this thing on the bike and then it sits at like a normal temperature, it tightens up and uh, doesn't have a bunch of wrinkles in it. As I'm getting back to these brackets back here, they kind of interfere with my ability to get the cover off. And I think they're gonna interfere with my ability to get the new cover on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove those quickly. seasonally appropriate metaphor because it's early April of opening this Easter egg and see what we have in terms of foam and what kind of condition that's in. There's a couple of yucky spots in here um, but again nothing I can really do too much about so I'm just gonna go ahead and let it ride. Um, there are a couple of spots down around the edges here look like they might be delaminating a little bit so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit that with some contact cement and stick them back down real quick and then we'll follow that up with just a little bit of good quality duct tape like it should fit. So I've got a manual upholstery stapler. I don't know if that's a good decision or a bad decision to go manual. Um, you're going to want to center this thing up as best you can and I am told that you want to staple the front just temporarily a couple of three four times and then start pulling everything back and down and kind of work your way out of this thing, getting the wrinkles out as you go. That's what we're left with. Um, not terrible. Uh, it's not perfect. Uh, you could definitely tell it was my first effort, but I would say that it's not bad for first try. Uh, once this is mounted back up on the bike, um, hopefully it'll look all right, and hopefully uh, you know my butt won't slide around as much. Uh, not that that's really a difference. You shouldn't be sitting down too much when you're riding anyway. Hopefully my knees will be able to grip it. With that, guys, uh, wait until the shelter-in-place is over, and then get out there, go ride. 